Hello, friends. Happy Thursday. I'm smoking my uh, Briar Spirit pipe, one of my Briar Spirit pipes, and I've got a surprising blend for me. It's, uh, you will not be able to read this, but it's Cornell and Deal Plantation Evening, uh, actually jarred up in 2015, so Plantation Evening with some age on it. Uh, I say surprising because this is a a blend with Latakia. It's actually a Burley, Virginia, uh, not a lot of Virginia, uh, Perique and Latakia blend. Very nice. Um, I've had this weird Latakia thing going on the past couple of weeks. I can't explain it. I don't want a lot of it. I don't want it for every smoke, but you know, once a day, once every other day, I've been I've been reaching for this. So, and and this plantation evening has really fit the fit the bill, been the ticket, whatever they say. Um, I've actually been smoking this for a while before I hit record, so I may have to repack while we talk. Thursday. I uh, should should have done this on Wednesday, which was yesterday. <laughs> but I didn't and uh, just got just got tied up it's been it's been busy times here uh, wife and I trying to get everything ready for taxes she actually took everything to our accountant uh, today she's she's out doing that right now and beyond that uh, it's been more snow I had to move today work's been crazy pipes galore to fix it it's just been it, I didn't have time yesterday, so I hope you don't mind. Um, wanted to mention this is this is kind of important. Uh, if you didn't see the post that I put up last night, I got a text message from my buddy Kilted Piper Steve. Uh, his wife Kathy, that you know, is part of our community. She's she's on the live streams with Steve on Sundays, and she often. Uh, is included in Steve's videos. She she comments on my videos. Uh, Kathy has um, apparently developed some sort of a cardiac issue, and the doctor said maybe needs a pacemaker. Uh, you know she's upset about this for obvious reasons, and you know obviously it's impacting on Steve as well. So they went to the doctor today. I have not heard from them, but uh, been praying that everything goes well, and I hope you guys will all. Join me in in praying or thinking happy thoughts and and all that kind of stuff for for Kathy. She's she's a great lady and uh, really love having her as part of the community. And it'll be important for her to know that we got her back on this. So get those prayers flowing. Uh, Friday tomorrow. I'm so used to doing this on Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have virtual pipe club. I'll um, get that notification up very soon, and I hope you'll join me. I, I hope my one week vacation isn't going to destroy my <laughs> my fan base. <laughs> that you guys will show up for that. Uh, we'll have a great time. I, I bought some new beer, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, looking forward to that. It's always a good time. So, what am I going to talk about today? This is just a ramble. I don't have any plans. One thing I will tell you is this, something about this lighter. This is amazing. I don't know if you're going to be amazed, but I'm amazed. So, uh, it lit. So, I filled this lighter on Monday morning at 1130. And I have been using nothing but this lighter since Monday morning at 11.30. It is now Thursday, a little bit past 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's still lighting. Now, normally I fill a Zippo in the morning, and by the next day I have to refill it. It's a 24-hour thing, and I think most people would agree that's how Zippos work. So this is now past the three-day point, and it's still going strong. So what I did 
was I replaced the cotton. It's not actually cotton that they use in these. Um, the rayon wadding. Um, replaced it with some of this organic Japanese cotton that the vape guys use. Um, the, the cotton cotton bacon is the, the brand that a lot of folks have been talking about. But I actually got something off of Amazon that is called Japanese silver cotton or something like that. And just repacked it and it's amazing i was not ex you know i was expecting to maybe get another day out of it i was not expecting it to be still running three days later um this is really remarkable you know if you think about it that's a you know even if it conks out right now i'm getting three times as much use out of the same amount of fluid so i have to buy fluid three times less or that decreases the price of a can of fluid threefold uh, there's all different ways you can look at it, look at it. Um, and it's funny every time I'm, now because it's been three days every time I strike it I'm thinking is this going to be the one where it, pop, it conks out so we'll see how long that goes it's an experiment uh, it's the only lighter I'm going to use until it does conk out And it's been such a success that I'm obviously going to do this with my other Zippos. So I'll probably go ahead and put together a video on it, uh, you know, show you the product and I'm sure you all know how to repack a Zippo, but I might as well just do a quick video on that. Um, maybe it'll be of interest. Yes, I've been on this this odd Latakia kick. Now, I don't know, maybe my tastes are changing. <laughs> maybe it's the weather. You know, most people say Latakia is a cold weather smoke. We certainly have had cold weather lately. It could also be the blend, you know, 2015, so this is going on six years, well, five and a half years. It was August of 2015 that I jarred it. So, yeah, a lot of key is going to mellow out in that time. Uh, there's Perique in it. I can definitely taste the Perique, and that's making me happy. I don't know. Could be. Could be just this blend is non-offensive to me, or maybe my taste has changed and now I can tolerate Latakia. But that's that's a little scary when you think about it, you know, especially if you're cellaring tobacco. So if you can almost overnight go from someone that doesn't tolerate any amount of Latakia in anything, which I was. And maybe I still am. You know, this may not last. But if, you know, the next day you wake up and you're craving that thing that you couldn't tolerate, what does that mean? You know, how, what does that mean for the pounds and pounds of the other blend that you have in your cellar that you might suddenly not like? You know, what do you do then? You know, I view, this is dead now. I view the seller as a uh, as a retirement thing that I'm going to, you know, keep selling tobacco until I retire, and then that's what I'll smoke. And you know, maybe I'll buy a tin here and there, but I'm not going to have to worry about that daily tobacco. So, if that's the case, um, you know what? I just got I just got a text here from Steve. I want to see if it's anything relevant, and if not, we'll edit this out. But if that's the case, then, you know, could I possibly have, been, you know, might I wind up with a cellar full of stuff I don't want to smoke? Uh, okay, so, so Steve says the report from the doctor is not great. Kathy definitely needs a pacemaker, and they don't know when they'll get it scheduled just now. It's a waiting game. Um, so Kathy really needs our prayers. Uh, obviously you know that's that's not a minor 
issue and you know the surgeries it, it's not a minor surgery either uh, I'm sure she's going to come through it just fine and uh, I'm sure all's going to be well but let's just you know keep praying for them especially for their peace of mind because you know it's times like this that can be very stressful and make it very difficult for people just to get through the day. So let's keep uh, Kathy and Steve in, in our prayers. Uh, so yeah, what if I wind up selling, you know, 40 pounds of haunted bookshop and wake up one day and can't stand haunted bookshop? I don't see that happening, but I guess that's the risk we take. And I guess then I go to bartering, you know. Anybody want to trade a pound of haunted bookshop for a pound of something else? I don't see that happening. And I've got a lot of variety. You know, I've got the... I've got a lot of haunted bookshop. I've got a lot of old Joe Krantz. I've got a lot of... Um, Stokeby uh, Bullseye Flake... Um, one or two others. Some of the, oh, Weybridge and uh, a couple of the John Patton blends that I like, Dark Horse and is it Ori Oriental, Oriental Night, I think. I get them confused. There's so many Oriental something tobaccos, but I think it's Oriental Night. Which is a really, really nice. It's John Patton Oriental something. Uh, so I got quite a bit of those in my cellar. Tucked away for retirement. And then I got a lot of stuff, you know, just tins of this and that. And, you know, so there'll be plenty of variety. And you know, I don't plan on being a pauper, so I'll still be able to buy the occasional tin if something new comes along. And, Enjoy it, assuming the we're still allowed to buy it. Yeah, cellaring is a it's an interesting game. I'll show you. I bought this and it just came in. This is Weybridge from Four Noggins and. The reason I bought this was not to smoke immediately, although I did immediately smoke some. But Weybridge is one of these blends that really ages well. And I've got some, I think, six-year-old Weybridge that is one of the best tobaccos I've ever smoked. I mean, it's really, really good. For those that don't know, Weybridge is, is um, in a lot of ways similar to Haunted Bookshop. It's a Virginia Burley. Uh, Perique type blend. It's milder than Haunted Bookshop it, it, in terms of its taste profile. Still very tasty, but not as strong in, in taste. I'm not talking about nicotine. I have no idea about the nicotine. So it's a nice change of pace, but if you age it for five or six years, it really becomes something special where the, the Virginias take over. They become very sweet, and it, it's just wonderful. Now, I've got four or five jars that are six years old, and I bought a pound that I'll I'll jar up. Uh, maybe maybe I'll keep one uh, two ounce jar out to smoke, but the rest of it will get jarred up. And my hope is that I'll be able, I'll have a constant supply of five to six year old Weybridge, not constant supply like everyday smoke, but you know when I want that treat, it'll be available. Yeah. Put all this thought into it and you know it's it's a strange strange game planning for the future because who knows if you got a future. Who knows what tomorrow brings. I was watching um our buddy Tom, uh, Northwest Pipe, 
Northwest pipe smoker the other day and he said something like the past is just a memory and the future is just a plan so all you have is the and boy that's true it's actually terrifyingly true if you really think about it because we spend so much time thinking about what happened and planning for what's going to happen that we very seldom take the time out to say this is what's happening and this is what's happening is all we've got the trendy term is mindfulness and uh, there's a lot to be said for mindfulness being in the present moment actually appreciating the present moment so I'm trying to find ways to slow down and you know at least a couple times a day really focus on uh, this helps this helps a lot um, and it's one of the reasons why I'm smoking this lot of Kia blend the day was full of haunted bookshop I was working I had a long day of work today a lot of meetings I had to go out and run the snow machine the snow blower and uh, you know came back in and had haunted bookshop to, to warm up with some coffee and you know but that's kind of like just the routine that's Part of my day this is something different um, and it makes me stop and think and appreciate take the time out from your day to stop and think and appreciate y'all got one of these darn things Set a reminder on it every day at 11 a.m. Pay attention to the fact that you're in the present moment. Do it two or three times a day. I think you'll you'll find it worthwhile. All right, folks. I babbled enough. Uh, please join us Friday night. It's going to be a going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to seeing all you guys there, so please turn up. Make me feel good, for goodness sakes. Y'all take care, and we'll talk soon.